Hey guys, Rock and Robo back with a little bit more Hero Coliseum. This time against uh, Born to Kill here. I'm not going to say your full name, so I'll probably mess it up. Uh, seems to be another new player. Uh, don't recognize the name, so unless you've changed your name. So let's see what they're rocking here. This is the Mirror Double Vegeta. Oh god. This is going to suck a lot. Um. I mean, you're running up the front, so I can't leave that lane open, can I? Do we do that to try and take out the Piccolo? Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure what he was going to run. This is fine. I don't mind losing UI Goku. As long as I kill that Piccolo, it kind of just makes things a lot easier. That is the priority here. Right. So we're faster. This isn't the fastest team lineup, and I know this video was supposed to be about showing off Mira Double Vegito, and I've starting off showing Vegeta, Double Vegito and UI Goku. I knew the Piccolo was going down, he had to, so I kind of had to play this. Piccolo will just be so annoying later on if I leave him. I was surprised that he didn't put the Vados down, so uh, credit to you. I was expecting the, uh, the Vados. This will do very little damage. But it's 2,400 plus a counter attack, so... Me. Talking about 3,600 damage altogether. Which I will take. I will take that. Oh wow, we didn't do anywhere near enough damage there. I did not think the Whis Goku combo would um, be that sort of debilitating. This could be a very bad first turn. Oh, are you kidding me? A counter-attack with the wrong figure, basically. Ah. Uh, who attacks first? Goku does, doesn't he? Wait, am I using the wrong Vegito? I'm using the wrong Vegito, ain't I? Oh my god. Well, he'll live, because it's the wrong Vegito. It was supposed to be double attack Vegito, but I've put the defensive one in there by mistake. And if I'd had the attacking one in there, I'd have killed Piccolo. I can't believe I put the wrong freaking Vegito in there. Oh my god, I'm such a freaking idiot. Um, let's run with that. We're in, we're in trouble now. It's not that I've lost UI Vegito, uh, Goku. It's that I've lost my Vegito, basically. I don't have the right one. If I'd had the right one, Piccolo would be dead. And things would be looking a bit better. Unfortunately, we didn't kill him, and that's big problems for us. He's also going for a, f a massive change round. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Piccolo dies. Vados won't die. Not from the... Uh, I don't know. Her defense is going to be really cut down. Thanks to Videl. We'll do extra damage because of Mira and because of Vegito's own ability. So that's 10% extra. And Mira's already done a 20% extra. Lose 30% of his attack. It's going to be close. I think a counter attack will kill Vados. This should be. Please tell me you can do 240. Okay. I had, I've had flashbacks of Goku Black just doing that and just failing, so. Ah, oh, I said with a counter attack.
Hmm. I'm scared of one of the ten out bad as this. Very bad because our other Vegeta was beaten up. If only if I had the right Vegito, things would be so much different right now. We have the advantage in health, so we've got that going for us at least. Hmm. And because you, I, Goku died first turn, we don't have any our um. Ah. Uh, I count it to O one skills shit. He doesn't have any O one skills, but that's not the point right here. That's what I've got to go with. Run one across the board, please. I was kinda of worried he'd do that, but I couldn't leave Videl exposed, and Mirror, if he's on his own in the lane, will die, so... I'm so... I feel so stupid. So stupid, because this... This game should have been different. Ah... Uh, I knew something was wrong the first turn with my speed. I think Goku on his own will be enough to blow me away here. Ah, man. I mean, Mirror Mir Mir has done a decent job here, to be fair. I mean, he's not quite a bit of health off there. Damn, that first turn. Good game. I want to. I kind of want to replay this person, but I need to play different people with this deck so that it's not stale and predictable. There's no way we're surviving this. There's just no way. See? Fuck! I know. I can't. I can't complain. I had two counter attacks this turn. This is going to leave me on about, what, three? Three, seven. I don't... I think Whis has got enough damage to finish me off here. Yeah, more than enough. GG. Uh, quite annoyed at myself because... Selecting the wrong figure lost me the game. But credit to uh, Born to Kill. Played very well. Outplayed me in the end. Ah, <sighs> that's annoying. Now I've got to go and fix the deck. Hang on. Uh, where are you? You're not that deck, you're this deck. Um, I can't believe I've done that. Um, I just went the wrong side. I picked that one up instead of that one. Well, <laughs> let's try that again, shall we? I think I'll pop into rank this time. Maybe try and find a, um, a modder in there. That'll be fun. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm meeting all these new level 99s. Patella Lucia 1976. Okay, nice to meet you, Patella. Right, let's try that again. And this time we're using the right figures. So it's Pepper versus Goku. I really... One thing I really want to see, because, I mean, it's been so awesome recently, a lot of people when I've played them have been like oh I watch you on YouTube and that's just so awesome when people say that because it's just like wow that it just it always just makes me feel I don't know it's hard to explain but it's just uh, it's just a nice feeling and I really do someday want to see fan art of Pepper but tasteful fan art for oh this deck's interesting I like this you know what this is actually speaking to a deck I wanted to try at some point. I wanted to try and do the vice versa as well. Going for up second skills on a fast team and going for no up second skills on a slow team. Uh, we should go first here. Um, I'll kill his Vegito and he'll kill my Vegito is basically how this turn's going to go. 
with uh, Vegito and Kefla pretty much trading off in terms of master damage. I'm kind of okay with losing that Vegito. I want Mir Mira to be the the star, so. And again, how much damage can Mi Mira? Hello! That boost from having two Vegitos and Mira is freaking insane. That Mira has 4,400 attack. Okay, yes, he's getting boosts from the ally skills from Vegito, from the Vegitos of two lots of 500 and two lots of 10% um, damage. But still, he's pulling out a decent number there. And that means we do kill uh, Fu as well, because there's no way he's living from Vegito. I'm going to say a lot of credit to um, Patella Lucia. I like the deck, I like the idea. Um, just a bit unfortunate, really, that he came up against. There's no other way to describe it. This is a meme team. This is a meme team. Um, I don't want to leave a lane open, because if I do, he could absolutely destroy me. So I think... What was that? 13... Um, 8, 7... I mean, we massively outspeed. So... Okay. That's fine. I was kind of thinking maybe he'd double up down the middle, predicting me to go down the sides again. But considering how much Mira does... There we go. GG. I think... Yeah, there's no way any of his figures live this. This combo is mean. I knew it would be as soon as I saw sort of the effect Mira was having in the um, SR challenge. But damn, the number he put out at the start there, that's not the attack version, that's the thing. And he doesn't have any dupes into his attack, I don't think. I think I put all of my dupes of him into speed. So, that's insane. That is what I was expecting to see from this deck. And UI Goku gets to finish it off. Damn, hitting for 10k without up second skills. And without any self-boosting. So, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Also, it's nice to pick up a ranked win. GG uh, Patello Lucia. Like I say, if you watch this, I like the deck. I love the meme idea of using up second skills because I wanted to do that. Uh, let's stay in ranked. I don't know who else might be on. Uh, I am recording this in the evening, so there's a better chance of me meeting up with a, a lot of the top American players. No, why? You should not be here. You are level 24. Go back to the freaking free battles. Level up a bit. I know that sooner or later you have to learn. And to be fair, I was just like you, D Dark Mumu, when I started. Because as soon as I could go online, I tried it and I got spanked. Because I'm sure I went up against... Was it... It might have been Revan, because he's on PS4. I just remember back in the day, because I came up against his team. Or was it him? No, I think he was He was my second game, because I remember his Piccolo going down on the field and just fucking him over. The first game, when I had no experience in this, basically. I was a week behind. I went in, my opponent had double SR Gohan and Big Bang Vegeta with 0-1 skills, and I lost on turn two. Because <laughs> I was level... I was level 20... And he just went, yeah, I've got my ultimate gauge on turn two. You're dead. Oh my god, really? <laughs> what was the point? I don't understand. Why are you in... Oh my god. Whatever. Man, I'm going to have to keep this mirror deck around. Um, Overlooked, because he's an SR. That's the that's the truth of it. He is overlooked because he is an SR figure, and people just look at SRs and usually look look straight over them. I think um, some figures sort of buck the trend. Obviously, Future Gohan, or not Future Gohan, Ultimate Gohan being a great example. And for our figures, you've got Freezer, proving that uh, rare figures can still be useful. I'm actually a decent fan of End Toa, sort of the normal Toa. Hello, Patel. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, let's have a rematch. I'm going to use the same deck, even though this is this shit's so predictable. 
All right, we can't play the first say the same team. The first ah, oh, what the hell am I trying to say? We can't run the same lineup we did in the first game. There we go. Words as difficult they be. Right, are you going with the same deck? Probably not after this after um, the last game. No, you are. All right. <laughs> I ain't gonna complain. Um, let's just try. Should we try and be a little bit cheeky here? Okay. It worked. It, it's gonna pay off. I'm gonna hit his master with both UI Goku and with my. I think that's the damage. Well, not the damage. That's the version of Vegito that's got um, extra dupes into his attack. So that's all good. Um, I think a counter from just one of them will end this, in all honesty. So how's this turn going to go? If I don't kill him, I'll take some decent damage from Fu, uh, but my Vegito will die. Uh, I feel a bit bad for that. I'm not going to take a, a counter attack on UI Goku if he gets one as well, because I'll feel a bit shitty. As long as Vegito gets the kill here. Easy. He's going to get killed in return, I think. I don't think there's any way that he can live um, Godku. Even if it is the uh, speedy version of Godku. No. No, I'm not taking that. I don't. I don't feel right doing that. I don't deserve to get two counters on the first turn, especially when they were both on his master. But between you and me, if he, if Lucia doesn't watch, that was an accident. I accidentally pressed square when I meant to hit triangle. I do... In a way, I like the RNG factor of counterattacks, and that's one of the things I would keep. But I don't. I think I would rather it be you have one counter attack a turn and you can choose when you use it. Um, this was actually an idea suggested to me by one of the subs. This is something I'll go over a bit more in a uh, a video I do more about fixing the Hero Coliseum. But um, yeah, the idea of just having one. It came from one of uh, my subs. I'm sorry, I can't remember your name off the top of my head. But it was a really great idea of just having one counter attack a turn for each side and you chose if and when you wanted to use it and i i like that idea i think that's um that's a fair way to balance it all right please don't shaft me game uh there we go take the 280 uh i think this kills all three of them it certainly kills godku on the right and uh Fu. Like I say, Lucia, I like the idea of your Mimi deck, and it's really something I'd like to do at some point. <laughs> that was 14k damage. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Mira doesn't get the kill. You know what? You didn't... I didn't take the counter-attack on your master last turn. I am letting Mira kill you, because he deserves it. Mira's a fucking boss. I think Mira is actually turning into one of my favourite figures. He doesn't... For an SR, he doesn't have anything bad about him. There is literally nothing bad about Mira. Yeah, I can't remember what... I think I'm sure I put all of my dupes of him into speed. Damn, he is just really good. Just really, really, really good. I just, I've, I've got no other way to describe him. Sorry, he's, just, he's just really good. I love him. He's awesome. Uh, GG again to Lucia. I give you a lot of credit, my friend. You stayed in I when, you know, a lot of people wouldn't have done. You know, it's rage quits are very common nowadays. So, I respect anybody who stays in and plays the full game. So... Credit to you. Shout out to Patella Lucia. And uh, I certainly hope that if you are watching that you get a good chunk of um, games. And like I say, I do respect the deck you're going with there and um, the idea behind it. I would say take it into play a match. 
since you're just going to get spanked and ranked with that. Oh, what are we sitting at? 20 minutes. I'm fine I'm fine with having a 20-minute video here. Um, some of them I want to be a bit shorter. And this seems about right. I was always trying to aim for about 20, but I've usually been going over that recently. But uh, that was the Mirror Showcase. I'm going to start doing this for all SR figures. I want to showcase the top ones in good decks. And uh, that was Mirror's Showcase. So, yeah. Oh, I did put all of his dupes into attack. Okay, my bad. <laughs> But still, that's good stats. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to showcase various SR figures because they deserve to be shown off. Um, they're overlooked. It's very easy to see the SR, see the lower stats and think they're not worth your time. But they are, trust me. This mirror has proved it in this video with the uh, damage he's put out, the numbers he's put on the board. Also, I just realized that he had all of these on as well. So he was getting quite a few attack buffs. But uh, yeah, you got 20% of damage taken from him. There was the 10% damage taken from that Vegito and then the other Vegito as well. Uh, crazy little combo. And I would I would really recommend you guys try it out next time you've, uh, you're you looking for a fun little deck to use. Uh, Videl was there for cover if my opponent was running a Videl as well. Because if you're against a Videl and uh, you don't have a Videl, you lose. So yeah, got to keep that. An Ultra Instinct Goku there. Heavy hitter, UTG down stuff, and of course, he does reduce your opponent's damage from ultimates anyway, so. But anyway, shout out to both my opponents, uh, they gave me some good games, I enjoyed playing both of them, and it gave you a good um, showcase of what this deck could do, so thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please hit that like button and subscribe for more of my Hero Coliseum videos, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notifications when I upload, and I'll see you all next time.